The setup at the shootout here is actually pretty cool. You got a lot of room in the indoor. We're out of the weather. Got the guys set up with their tents. We got the racing going on over here at the track, and we'll be showing some of that here shortly. You have your driver stand up top there. And we got some tents all across the back over here, and we're going to take a walk over here and check out our buddy Tim. That's right, local racer Tim Rothenberger is here today, and we'll see how he's making out. Coming up over here with the top qualifier in the late model, right? 17.5 late model? 17.5 late model top qualifier is Tim Rothenberger, and he's one of our local racers that you see at our indoor track there at Birdsboro, PA, and we'll see him at Ultimate RC in, in Shillington also, uh, but right now we're at the shootout with Tim, and Tim's running Sprint and 17.5 late model, and he's doing pretty good. And street stock also. And street stock. Um, Tim, when's your next race? Um, are you in the B's, the A's, or are you making all the A's, or what's going on? I'm all A's. Um, second is street stock. Um, yeah, TQ with eight model and fifth in sprint. And Tim's got quite the setup here at the shootout. We'll take a look. He's got some cars in the back here. Here's a 17.5 late model car. He's got his mud boss. He's not racing that. He has a street stock. And on the other table is um, Tim's sprint car. He's got quite the setup going on here. Tim, all kind of electronics. I mean, got your buddies over here. You have some tires um, sitting down here ready to go. What kind of preparation is needed for this type of race? A lot. A lot. Weeks. Yeah, I usually prep weeks in advance. But I mean, up till literally the last minute, I was I built for this race. I built two brand new cars. The Sprint is brand new. This is the premiere of that. And the late model. That's brand new. So be where I'm at with those two cars is, is a good thing. Is there anybody we want to talk about to help you get here? Uh, any sponsors that you would like to say thanks to? Absolutely. TQ, um, Joe Carlson, Barbaric Race, is a great guy. Um, I got, who else do I have? I got TQ Bodies over here. Um, they, Tom there in the red hair. Wave Tom. Uh, he does all my wraps, so all my car designs he does, sets up, and then I, you know, finish them off. But I send everything out to him, and he does all my designs for me. And then Alfie and I on the on the podcast. Alfie, give a shout out to Alfie. Alfie does some. Uh, Got Alfie on the podcast. That's normally with yeah, Tim. He's right over here. Uh, what class are you running today? Running 17.5 Sprint, 17.5 Late Model, and 13.5 Late Model. Well, that's Alfie with the, uh, what's the name of the podcast again, in case people don't know it? RC Dirt Oval Podcast on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash RC Dirt Oval, www.rcdirtoval.com. You guys definitely check that out because um, these guys support me all the way and I want to support them. So if you get the chance, jump on over to the Facebook, jump on over to their podcast and, and check them out. Um, they can probably give you a lot of good information about what's going on in the RC world. Tim, I want to say good luck because I'm going to be filming you. I'm going to have the camera strapped to my head again, but this time instead of me, it's going to be focused on you. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. We got a lot of locals in this next race coming up here. We got Jill Cole. We got Tim Rothenberger. We have Howard, the owner of the Ultimate RC Pit Stop. He will be racing in uh, the street stock class. See if we can uh, see who's running here. I know Tim's running the number five. And... Looks like Jill will be lining up fourth in the black and green street stock. We've got Tim lined up second. I'm not sure where we have Howard. But got your street stock guys right here and a lot of local guys in this race. Looks like we have Howard in the number seven. Here we go, start of the street stock class. We got Howard in the lead, and we have, oh, Tim just takes the lead. Howard in second place. Got Tim leading the way, Howard jumping over the Howie Holmes. Third place, number seven. Oh, Tim gets tangled up in lap traffic, breaks free. Howard's still behind, about a turn behind Tim. 
local racer Tim Rothenberger currently leading the way, getting into the door of the lap traffic. Tim laying down some smooth laps. And we still got Tim leading the way, making his way through lap traffic. Howard second, Jill third. Street stock class is filled with local racers. Tim just lapped up the second, up the third place. Tim making his way through lap traffic. And we still got Tim out in front, and Tim is now coming up the lap second place, which is Howard, the owner of Ultimate RC, and Howard moves out for Tim. Howard spins around, Tim still leading the way, getting around lap traffic. Tim dominating this class here at the shootout. And if you've been following the channel, Tim Rothenberger, yeah, that's the same guy that's been racing at the Birdsboro RC Center. The guy I battled with for the points in the Mud Boss stock class. This is the street stock class, which they don't have at the Birdsboro RC class, but they do have it here, and they have it at the Ultimate RC racetrack. And Tim is currently dominating this race, lapping the field. Up ahead of him is Howard from the Ultimate RC pit stop. Howard in the number seven. We got Tim in the number five, following right behind. Tim with the on the field. Tim now going around Jill. Very smooth, not missing a beat. It's Tim Rothenberger leading the street stock class at the shootout. 40 seconds to go. Couple laps Aaron left. Tim still leading. Aaron second. Alan third. Jill fourth. Joy getting Alan in five. Howard now drops the third. Jill in fourth. Fifteen seconds left of the race. Tim coming up, putting another lap on Jill. And the race is just about done. And your winner in the street stock class is Tim Rothenberger. Tim Rothenberger. 34 laps. Here we go. First through fifth in the street stock class. Tim Rothenberger first place. Jill in fourth. Here's the local race. I don't not sure who else is uh, the other top five. I just popped in here today. I really don't know the other guys, but that's who's so far taking top five that I know of. Jill fourth place taking home a trophy today, right? It, Something. Might not have been as close as what you wanted. I, uh, Tim, Tim had you by. Tim had everybody by a couple laps, but uh, you did a good job. Congratulations! Of, first time running. First time running this car, so it's only going to get better. Cool. Awesome. Walking away with a trophy today is local racer Jill.